in my previous video I showed you this little Easter Bunny that I'm going to make clothing out of. I'm going to use a pair of socks, maybe two pair, and a fat quarter of fabric. I had planned to use this clutch and the sequin, sequin ribbon, but I think I'm going to use these two things in a future video or future project. More about that later. I also still have this wristlet and I bought this um, ribbon. I just thought it was pretty. Grow green ribbon really matches this. So more about the future project later. I'll do a little advertisement at the end. This project involves the decapitation of this little bunny. I am so sorry little bunny. I just couldn't do it on camera. Um, it is re really easy to deconstruct. I just clipped with my scissors or you could use a seam ripper and it comes apart quite easily. Save everything, especially the stuffing. And <laughs> you're gonna laugh. Here's my Heart for Heart doll, same size as a Willy Wisher. Look how this is going to work. It makes a little skating skirt. I'll clean that up and show it to you. But and even and that could even be socks or sleeves. I think I'll make it into sleeves. Okay, back to the American Girl doll, or the 18-inch doll. I've made several of these sock sweaters, or sweaters out of a sock. And if you want to know more detail on that, look in my playlist of Dollar Tree to Cute Me, and you will find several videos on how to make this little shirt out of socks. I've also already showing you how to make the, I don't know, what would you call these? The um, tights without feet? I don't know. But you make it out of this part of the sock. And again, I've got several videos. Look in the playlist. We're going to make the gathered skirt first. And you just cut off one end of your fat quarter. And then you cut a strip that will fit around the doll's waist. Then fold it. There's no strict measurements when you make a gathered skirt. Find the middle of both pieces. And I'm going to turn it over and work with this side. I'll show you the detailed version of how I do gathers, but you can, there's many people on YouTube that has uh, videos about how they make gathers. There's lots of different ways. Okay, so I've connected it to the ends, the little waistband to the ends, uh, end of the um, skirt part, and then I've divided it into fourths again. And pin it. So you've got, you see what I mean by fourths. And now I just start doing it with my fingers, dividing it into eighths. And then, what's that, sixteenths? And then just keep making your gathers smaller and smaller. And then you do that all the way across. 
and be sure to press it. That'll make it much easier to slide through the sewing machine as you take out the pins. Okay, it's pinned all the way across and I'm going to take it to the ironing board. And here's the gathered skirt. You're going to press with your iron the seam down. And you can make the, um, the waistband part as wide or as narrow as you want. You want to clean up everything, clip all the threads, finish the edges either with a zigzag or serger. Um, make a nice hem. Put your Velcro tab on. And with this skirt, I'm going to sew about halfway up and then leave enough space so you can pull it up her hips, over her hips. Are you ready for the cute part? Here it is. I'm going to put it slightly inside the waistband. I don't want it to cover up the cute little smile. and just do a hand stitch. I'm also making a running stitch around, up and down, around, just to flatten this out a little bit. I've got two pieces of ribbon with knots on the end. Don't forget to seal the edges. You're going to sew this at the end of the ears and it will tie in the back. So I'll finish that up and show it to you. And here it is. Here's the back. You can wear it without the sweater. Here's the finished Welly Wisher or Heart for Heart doll. Let's call it her recital outfit. And here's the back. I made those little panties out of the bottom of the rabbit's foot, the little round part of the foot. And then that's some ribbon and some elastic on the side. And here's the front of the panties. Thought it turned out pretty cute. These are the arms of the bunny and this is the legs. I don't normally do Dollar Tree hauls per se, but I thought I'd show you some things that I'll be doing in upcoming videos. Um, all these beads make good jewelry for the doll. And I love these, they're wooden, wood bees, beads. And I put all my closures in this pink container that was in the craft section. And then this black container was in the, um, like, hammers and tools and stuff. But I thought I'd put these beads in this container. I found some longer socks, and I used the little ankle socks for the shirt, so I'll be doing something with the longer sock. Here's another scarf. I've made several things with the Dollar Tree scarves. And these little head wraps. I love, I love the flamingos. and It's real silky, so I'll be doing something with that. I've already shown you this um, ribbon. I like the colors, of course, and I like the gold. I also picked up this, but it's paper, so you can't really make a sewing project with it. I love the colors, especially the gold and the gold and black stripe and the pink. I like all of them. I may use it for packaging. 
I sell at craft shows and to local people. I found this little bag. Crossbody bag. Um, that could be a belt. It's that plastic silky fabric. And I picked up the hook and loop but it does have glue on it and that can really gum up your needle on your sewing machine so I'll see what I can do. Uh, garden glove. I've got an idea. I'll have to surprise you with it and um, I have another surprise with that and this. She's so cute. So you'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching.